What is up everybody on YouTube, Justin here, the winds of change, coming to you with a video of some uh, things that I picked up at the thrift store. I actually already have these things listed, uh, I just want to share with you uh, sort of what I got them for and what I'm listing them for. It's going to be a small haul video, like five items, don't want to spend a lot of time. Really, I haven't been posting a lot on uh, on YouTube, I've been pretty pretty busy moving, but now I'm getting settled in. I got some time to do some listings and uh, guess what I listed 29 items today just shirts just shirts uh, that's a big step up from my normal um, like five <laughs> you know or ten every other day uh, really trying to just get everything listed and organized I have a new organizational system uh, moved in I moved out of a house and into an apartment so I have a I have a loft that I'm doing all this in and so it's really going to force me to not have stuff sitting around but to get it and list it as soon as it's coming in some things are easier than others uh, shoes for example that are new anything that's new uh, anything that doesn't have to be measured um, is a lot easier but today I did shirts uh, took pictures of them and um, got them all cleaned up uh, steamed them all yesterday uh, that's a lie I did that Friday and then I didn't do anything over the weekend spent some time with the family and then today I had a chance to list them. I got 29 items listed I want to say it took me about didn't take me as long as I, I, I thought it did you know uh, 9 10 11 maybe about three hours um, just by myself measuring shirts and everything I, usually about five to six minutes uh, it takes me to list something unless there's doubles or something like that so uh, about about 10 an hour about three hours got them listed so here we go i um, excited about the uh, the listing process and uh, getting them up. Well, not the process, but actually having them listed. That's what I'm excited about. But let me share these few things here with you that I picked up. Uh, first thing I got here is this nice uh, Hawaiian shirt. Well, if I can figure out which way to move it. It's like backing up a trailer, going one way to go the other. Look at that. And it's a um, uh, Planter's Punch Flying Pineapple brand. And uh, this is a rain spooner. I'll show you the tag in a second. But if you just look at all the different logos on there, it even says like uh, rain spooner 1956. Got some sliced pineapples on it. Uh, this shirt is uh, super, <laughs> super cool, really. Um, here, here's the tag. Uh, if you don't know who rain spooner is or what rain spooner is, don't feel bad. I didn't when I first started recently, either, but there's the label R E Y N rain spooner. I don't know if these things are still made or not. The only ones that I've ever found or seen um, listed have this older, older tag. Uh, it is um, tailored in Hawaii, so it's made in the USA. Uh, but these are these are nice shirts. These are good shirts. They're desirable shirts. I paid $4.99 for it. Actually, no, I got this on half off days. Uh, I actually posted on Instagram, uh, which I'll leave my Instagram down below, and you can uh, follow me if you want. Uh, check out some of my finds and stuff like that. Um, I paid $2.50 for it, and I currently have it listed for $29.99. So some of the solds were $40, some of them were $20, some of them were $5, some of them were like start the bid at $3 and it sold for $3, so I got it listed for $30. I've sold them for $25 to $40 before, so I think $30 is a good safe bet. And plus it's really um, it's really just got some cool uh, uh, look to it. All right, And it's the season for it. So I don't know about you guys, but here in Ohio it's been like over a hundred for a couple weeks seems like uh, air quality is real bad hard to breathe so you know this kind of stuff would be nice um let's see we'll stick with the thrift store stuff still never heard of this brand but it's a uh, just a um, Hawaiian shirt here with flowers on it you know and there's a lot of Hawaiian shirts out there sometimes it doesn't always matter the brand uh, if they look cool uh, but this is a Montego Mon and I've never, I've never heard of this before. It's got sort of a um, uh, Tommy Bahama look and feel to it. It's Montego Mon, 100% um, silk, extra large, nice shirt. I mean, if you're in Hawaiian shirts, it's, it's got the, uh, the print is sort of set. You know, it's not all over the place, but it's, it's really pretty. Um, and the, uh, they were selling pretty well. I'm pretty sure I got this one listed for $24.99. Um, but if I get 20 out of it, I'll be good to go. Again, spent 250. Picked it up at the same time I picked the other one up. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure most of these, no, some of these I got a different way. Alright, this one, uh, I did pay the 4.99 for this. Let me get it over here. 
It's a Ted Baker uh, dress shirt, Ted Baker Endurance. Uh, Ted Baker's a really nice brand, uh, real dressy. Uh, it's got the just the standard sleeves on it. It's sort of like a blue, like pin dot shirt. It's a small size. Well, not that it was a medium. It's like a large. It does have sort of a contrast cuff on it, but you can't really see it. It's it's floral, but it's so dark. It's so dark that you can't even see, like, see the little like the lights, a little bit of floral there. So I may have listed his contrast cuff. I don't remember. Um, but <clears throat> sometimes words like that help him sell better contrast cuff. But I couldn't really get a, I don't think I did because I couldn't really get a good picture of it. So I just put it in the description. Uh, anyway, you know, the funny thing about this is, is I went out and I bought some, uh, some new clothes for the start of the school year. I mean, I got some pants, some shirts, you know, I just went to Macy's, some different places. I mean, clothes are expensive. I mean, for polos, like on sale, normal polo, polo chinos, right? Just the straight leg are like 90 bucks. You know, and on sale, they were like 50 or 60, you know, and then when they're used, it's sort of like cars, right? It's like when it, once it's used, that second that it's used, it drops down in value. I mean, you're not going to get 15, 20 dollars out of a pair of a polo chinos that are, that are barely even used sometimes. So, same with these Ted Baker things, man. This is going to be like a seventy, eighty, hundred dollar shirt, you know, and uh, you're lucky to maybe get thirty out of it. I think I have it listed for twenty five. A lot of brands like that, Hugo Boss, Brooks Brothers. It really just depends on like what it is, but they're crazy expensive new. Uh, that's one thing I like about reselling clothes online, though, uh, is that people are always going to need clothes, right? I mean, nobody's ever not going to need clothes. All right. Here we go. Uh, Brooks Brothers. It's their lower end line. Three, four. Well, I got really blurry. Three, four, three, four, six. And they said this was one of the recommended cameras. This thing's all goofy. All right. It, anyway, there you go. I don't know what I'm trying to show you. It's just a black, just a black full zip sweater there. Brooks Brothers. Three, four, six. Not like a Madison or anything special. Extra large though. 100% uh, merino wool. Full zip, zips all the way down. I paid $4.99 for it. And I believe I have it listed for, I think I have it listed for 30, but I would take 25 for it. It's gonna ship um, priority mail on a flat rate envelope, so it's gonna be about seven bucks to ship. So I'll, I'll, I'll make about $10 off of it if, if I do it like that. Uh, another thrift store find. This is a brand you may or may not have heard of. Also, Nat Nast. The Nat Nasty. Right? Nat Nast. 2X LT. Great, great size. 2X is a good size. And then it's a tall, so it's an, it's an excellent size. And then it's just this black, like, sort of striped kind of shirt. I'm pretty sure um, that dude in uh, Three and a Half Men, that Charlie Sheen, I'm pretty sure he wore these Nat Nash shirts. As a matter of fact, yeah, I know he did. He wore like the black ones with like the the, the full tan on the sides, and so a lot of people buy those. Um, <clears throat> but this is a this is a this is an expensive shirt, man. It's 72% silk and 28% lyo lyocell, whatever that is, and it's dry clean only. I think a dry clean only is probably worth picking up. You know, do your research, but paid five bucks for this. And uh, I think I have it listed for 35 or 40. And I hope to get that out of it. A lot of them are for 45 bucks. So between 25 and 40 is what they're selling for. So hope to get it. All right, here's a non thrift store haul. As a matter of fact, my mother in law picked this up uh, for four bucks at, um, at Kohl's. Four dollars at Kohl's. Um, she just gave it to me. It's not my size, it's a large. But uh, it's a Callaway, just a Callaway polo there. But it's it's purple. It's uh, brand new. Doesn't have the, uh, the logo up here. It's got the logo on the side though. You see the Callaway. Callaway is just a it's just a you know common golf brand. Um, I actually didn't think I was like oh thanks you know that's great. She's like well you can sell it and I'm thinking like man maybe I can make like I maybe I'll sell it for ten fifteen maybe. But a lot of these Callaways brand new like this this Opti dryer selling for like twenty to thirty bucks. So I got it listed for 20. So I did not buy this, but if I would have bought it, I would have. If I could buy it for four and sell it for 20, you know, pretty quickly, that would be okay with me. So keep your eye out for stuff like this at Kohl's and other places like that too. Get out of the thrift shop, son. You know, up your game.
do some retail arbitrage, you know. Retail arbitrage with clothing is, uh, I do it. Um, mainly I do it with shoes from Burlington, uh, Marshalls. You know, there's a place right here called Gabe's, stuff like that. And uh, while I'm there looking at the shoes, I usually just take out the clothing, find some good stuff sometimes. You do have to pay up, and your ROI might be a little bit different. So you may do like 40% ROI, but you're making, you know, $30 instead of doing 200% ROI, but you're only making 10 So it just it just depends, you know. Um, but I would suggest to everybody to, to, you know, hit the thrift stores, but then, you know, get out there too and get some new stuff, do some retail arbitrage. So anyway... Um, those are the five things that I just wanted to show you today, and uh, hopefully maybe you found something that you could look for. Um, this wasn't meant to be a pricing guide. If you agree or disagree with the prices, that's that's okay with me, man. You know, I've been doing this for a while, did some pricing, uh, and I just want to get them out the door. Don't want to hold on to a little bit longer. My thing is, is if I can make 15 today, why am I going to wait for it for uh, for six months to make 20? You know, just get it out the door today. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, with your homies. Uh, like I said, I got my Instagram down there. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for, uh, for future videos. I'm going to try to put these things up a little bit more, uh, more regularly. And so hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.